Hello and welcome to Lincoln Shorts. Uh, my name is Sean Roberts. I'm Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network and I have with me Aaron Ackerman, who is the Executive Director of the Ohio Association of Elections Officials. Um, so welcome, Aaron. Uh, thanks for joining me. So uh, we're, we're doing, I say we, me, <laughs> it, uh, are uh, interviewing people around um, what should, from the perspective of what should a voter do. Um, so one of them that came up is, um, uh, what should a voter do if somebody asks for your ballot? Um, wh what do you think that would be the, the correct response? So in Ohio, um, we have specific laws around what's called ballot harvesting, uh, which is a really nefarious way of saying that people try to go out sometimes and collect ballots that uh, they're not responsible for. And the fear, of course, from our perspective is that if you have, say, someone going out and representing a political party, knocking on doors, saying, hey, I'm with party X, and we want to make this easy for you. We can get your ballot. We can drop it off for you. You don't have to leave the house, especially right now with people's fear about getting outside. Um, and then they go and they throw them in a river. You know, that would be a bad thing. Now, I'm not saying that happens a lot, but in Ohio, we do have laws around that. So if you're an Ohio voter, um, unless it is a direct relative of yours, uh, so a, you know, a um, grandfather, grandmother, mother, father, sister, brother, all those things, uh, right. you're prohibited from collecting other people's ballots outside of those immediate family members. So if there's a concern, you know, stick it in the mail. Uh, boards of elections do have drop boxes. They're located at the board office. So you can go to your county board of elections. Um, you can drop it off at the board of elections, you know, all, all 28 days ahead of the election leading up to it. Uh, and of course, you can always vote in person as well. Um, so those are your options. But yeah, we don't recommend handing it to someone that you don't know, a stranger, even a neighbor, um, technically under Ohio law, you're not allowed to hand it off to them and they're not allowed to ask for it. Excellent. Um, what would you recommend if the, so should the person at that point just say, no, thank you and close the door? Um, uh, yeah. Don't engage. <laughs> you know, if it's, a, if it's a stranger, you know, you, you know, maybe you close it more forcibly than if it's your uh, next door neighbor, but yeah, Absolutely. you, um, you should probably, it's, it's just generally not a good idea to hand your ballot off to anyone outside of your immediate family. And again, that's, that's to protect the voter. Right. And the um, chain of custody is a phrase I've heard um, that uh, there needs to be a chain of custody, but also um, you know, there's a, it, it's maybe it's somewhat of a quaint phrase, but the, the idea of a secret ballot is, is something that's uh, been pretty important in the United States, uh, certainly in the, the 20th century, that, uh, that you don't want somebody else um, involved, aware of what your ballot says or um, what its intent is. So. Oh, certainly agree. And in Ohio, we do require some identifying information. Now we have, uh, you know, some states, they require that identifying information to go on the outside, like of the ballot envelope. We right. have a, we have, you know, sure. a secrecy envelope is not really what it is, but we do have an envelope inside the envelope where we're going to ask you nothing super personal, but it could be like the last four of your social security number and your address and your date of birth and just some stuff that, you know, as a general rule, you don't want you know, just anybody to have. And yeah, it'd be really unfortunate if you handed your ballot off to a stranger thinking they're making your life easier only to find out that it didn't get back to the Board of Elections or that they took that personal information or, you know, looked at the way you voted or any of that stuff is just not, you know, not ideal. So again, we have pretty strong laws in place and that's that's the reason behind it is to protect the voter. And you did a good job mentioning, you know, why that's important. Very good point. Th thank you for adding that. I didn't think of the privacy angle, but that's uh, obviously should be... Uh... Nowadays, in the digital age, everyone should be concerned about it. Well, thank you very much, Aaron. This has been Lincoln Shorts. So